Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> I hope you are enjoying all the videos. I am back with another problem from Lead Code today. Open the lock. You have a lock in front of you with four circular wheels. Each wheel has 10 slots, 0 to 9. The wheels can rotate freely and wrap around. For example, we can turn 9 to be 0 or 0 to be 9. So basically the wheels are completely wrappable. So 0 to 9 and 9 to 1. So we, we can say any number could be changed to any number as long as they are next to each other. So it is like that. So 9 after 9, the next number it comes as 0 like that. Whatever it is next to each other, you could change. Each move consists of turning one wheel, one slot. The lock is initially starts at all zeros. Like basically, the lock will have four circular wheels, right? So initial start state is 0, 0, 0, 0. A string representing a state of four wheels. You are given a list of dead ends. Dead ends, meaning if the lock displays any of these codes, the wheel of the lock will stop turning and you will be unable to open it. So basically we have to be careful not to going to the dead ends. Given a target representing the value of the wheel that will unlock the lock, return the minimum total number of turns required to open the lock. A minus one if it is not possible. So we are given with two inputs. One is a list of dead ends where the lock should not go. If it goes, we won't be able to unlock it and a target. Uh, the assumption is it starts always from zero that is all four zeros since we are uh, representing four circular wheels right a string will have four zeros zero 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 and then we have to reach to the target without entering the dead ends so let's go look at the example right so we are given uh, with the dead ends here so there are like five different dead ends and the target is zero to zero two so initially our uh, string is 0000. So after that we will have we can only change like one wheel at a time. We cannot change all the wheels, right? So we can change only one wheel at a time. So the first thing is changed to one. So that is a one, that is a one step. And the second thing is changed, that is also a one step. And here one is changed to two. So that is also another step and the last zero is changed to one 12 zero one that is another step and one last one is changed to 12 zero two now one is changed back to zero two zero two right so like that so number of steps required from zero 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 two zero to zero two are six steps so the, the, there are like other possibilities but just like yeah so the sequence right so if you go in this sequence it will be invalid because 0 1 0 2 we could go and then we can change this one to 2 0 0 to 0 2 but if any of the states that you enter if they are part of the dead ends for example 0 1 0 2 is part of the dead ends right even though this has num less number of steps right the correct one this one has six steps but this one has only five steps but this is a dead end right it is part of the dead end right like here so this transition this move of the transition is invalid because you are entering the 0102 which is a dead end that means if you enter if you go to 0102 you won't be able to update the lock to 0 to 0 to. that is what the dead end is right so that is the reason why the answer for this this input is 6 not 5 so we have to update to the lock and make sure it is not a dead end right so the, that is a important thing that we have to uh, iron out so uh, if you go uh, and try to solve it right we will be employing the bfs search and a queue for this particular problem in order to solve so there are several steps that we are going to take okay so we are basically we have to keep in mind that we can only change 
one of the numbers in the string so that is the first thing that we need to remember we are allowed to change only one number at a time in the string for every number there are two numbers at a distance of one for example uh, th this is just a another way to look at the wrap around so for example two can if the number is two it could go change to one or three so that is what it is so at a distance of one for a given number there are two possibilities so for three it could go to two or four for nine it could go to eight or zero like that so for every number there are two possibilities it, it could go a front or a back both are at a distance of one so that is one thing so the next thing is we have to put all those next numbers into the map right so we'll have a private function to calculate all the numbers which are at a distance of one so basically since the number that we are given has four uh, digits in it so we will have to have a function where it can give all the all the numbers which are at a distance of one right so and then we are going to use a queue to put the start string uh, into it and then for each entry in the queue we will get all the neighbors at a distance of one by using the private function that we discussed in the step four right yeah and then if any of them are not in the list of dead ends then we will have to put them back <coughs> back into the queue until we see the target no target number if we see the target number we will know how many steps it has uh, gone through in order to get to the target number uh, but there are so many ways that it could be possible for a given source to given target right so we are looking for a minimum number of steps so keep track of the minimum number of steps once the queue become empty give back the minimum number of steps as the answer so let's go look at the code for this these steps basically so as as we said there are uh, there are two possible numbers right for each of them so i have a map where i'm building the next numbers right so for zero there are one and nine for one there is two and zero right so those are at a distance of one so map is having all the numbers for a given number the next numbers or previous numbers right so that is a map and then we are putting these dead ends into the hard set just for the easy lookup right uh, as stated in the problem the start string is always four zeros right and then we will have to check if the dead contains start or dead contains target so the dead ends contains the start or dead ends contains target right if any of them are in the dead ends right we won't be able to solve the problem at all so we'll return minus one right so it initialize the minimum steps to max value and take a new queue here just for the purpose of keeping track of the current string and how many steps uh, we have gone through right i have created a, a separate class to keep track so current is the current string and step, steps is the number of steps that are required to uh, come to current string right so likewise so q is having for that node basically and a hash set where it keep track keeps track of the no strings which are already visited as we discussed we are putting the first start string with zero steps into the q so while q is greater than q count is greater than zero right we just get the node from the q if the current string in the node is equal to target right then we'll just say update the minimum steps and keep track of the minimum steps otherwise what we are doing is uh, get locks by one diff right so we are going to get all the strings where which are different differ by one with the current string so we will go look at that pro that one so it's right here right this is a pretty simple code so for for a given string right just convert that uh, string to a char array and replace each of the the first char first letter in the char array with the 
corresponding uh, numbers from the map so for a given map right from the map take the first character and get the possible characters at a distance of 1 and then update the array and add it to add it to the answer list that we are going to send and finally just replace the current string uh, original string with the temp ba back so that where it could be reused the same string could be used reused for the second character replacement third character replacement fourth character replacement, and so on right so basically that is how we are going to get the locks by one diff so as long as it the 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 one different lock is not in the dead dead ends and it is not visited then we are going to enqueue and mark one mark that as the visited node so finally if the minimum steps is equal to int max value that means we are not able to find the target right then we will just return minus one otherwise return the minimum number of steps hope this cleared up uh, the doubts so if we want to look at the like time and space complexity right so here the space complexity that we are using is we are using a map and we are using a hash set so hash set will, will be equal to the number of dead end uh, dead ends uh, as stated in the problem the number of dead ends will be in the range of 1 to 500 so this will be order of like 500 we could say right the hash set and the map it is a constant space because there are only 0 to 9 and uh, uh, the list will have 0 to 9 again so you could say 10 n right 10 order of 10, 30 that's it so the, which is a constant so for dead we have a constant space for map we have a constant space right so space wise we are using just a constant up till now and we are using a queue right queue holds the node the node holds the string and the steps right so uh, the number of nodes that are the number of strings that it visited could vary anywhere from for a given string right for every every pair for every uh, place there are two possibilities for the next string right so since we are four places there are eight possibilities right since there are four places there are eight possibilities so for a given string there are eight nodes right so for a given string there are eight nodes that we are potentially putting but some in some cases they are uh, they might be already visited or they might be in the dead ends also so but in the worst case we have eight possibilities so that is the space that we need to uh, account for in order to put into the queue but anyway this this is a, again a temporary queue this is not a permanent way that we are putting it so as this is just a space that we are using not just to return or anything right but to, just to return we are just only using the minimum steps so queue would be again order of n into 8 so that will be you could say order of n only so order of n space right so uh, and when you look, go look at the time right so this is basically the bfs uh, algorithm that you are, we are using right so the time and space complexity are equal to the uh, time and space complexity for the bfs algorithm hope you understand the problem and uh, a solution if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and share among your friends also please don't forget to ring the bell icon if you ring the bell icon you will get all the future updates to your email or to your mobile devices as a notification so please share among your friends i will back with i will be back with another video very soon if you are looking for a uh, mock one-on-one -on -one interview or a coaching session with me uh, personal coaching session please leave your email i can get back to you uh, at a later point in time please leave your email in the comment section below
Thanks for watching.